what's up guys starting today's video we are giving a 2024 tour of my game room so i've been working on this game room quite some time probably like three years now since we moved in here this is basically my office my game room as you can tell i'm into a lot of hobbies the nfl car parts little knickknacks here and there and as well hot wheels um these are like my prize possession hot wheels ones like the ones that's kind of hard to find the ones that's really dope to me and yeah we're gonna give you guys a quick tour and we're gonna talk about everything that i have in here so we'll start first on this corner so we will start here so this is my marshall lynch t-shirt um this is a pretty hard to come by shirt as well and then we get the beast mode socks right here it's an NFL team apparel. If you guys don't know, one of my favorite players is Beast Mode for the Seattle Seahawks. Did many things there, especially the game against Saints. If you guys don't remember that game against the Saints, probably the most memorable moment in my life. Watching that game live and him stuffing everybody all the way to a touchdown. Crowd silent now, as opposed to when the Saints have the ball. Oh, look at this run! What a run! Marshawn Lynch, still oh. on his feet, has blockers now, he's dancing his way for the touchdown! Uh. One of my favorite moments, but I'm going on to the Hot Wheels right here, um, we'll show off the Fast and Furious Supras, we also got the HKS. Um, right here is the newest ones that I got, but I haven't been able to find a spot for them. But this is the Spoon EG Hatch. This is pretty hard to come by right now at the moment. But this is pretty much the whole set that the Spoon EG Hatch came out with. And then back here are the Mr. D ones. So I don't know if you can see it on the far left one. This one back here is the A86. Hark 7. We have the Cell 80 right there. And then we have the Evil 4 right there. And then we have an old school um, toy right here of the Honda Civic SI. We also got an Import Racer Evil um, 7, I believe. Or oh, this is the Evil 8. This is the Evil 8. But the Evil 8 is right here. I'm going down to the second row, which is a little bit more cars like out of the box because the box just got disintegrated. But over here, we have the modern classics, uh, Volkswagen Corrado VR6. Um, and then back kind of this, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. We have a Toyota Tundra pickup. I've been loving the lifted trucks from Just Trucks Toys. Those are pretty sick, but I've been mostly searching for like the Toyota ones because as you guys know, I have a 4Runner and if they make a 4Runner version of that, I definitely would cop. Uh, we got two sets of the Fast and Furious uh, sets right here uh, with the Supra. We have another Civic Si, the was it, Wings West model toy right here. Um, like I said, it was in a box, but the box got disintegrated. We have this. I don't know if you guys remember Zip Zaps, but we have the Zip Zap. And this would be Red Sun's Arc 7. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. I was trying to get it to work, but it's not working. Then we've got some more import tuner cars right here. We have the Evil 8. We got the Skyline. We got the Supra. And we have another Skyline right here. And then back here is another big set of the EG6 with the Nissan Sentra and a Celica. And then the fucking fleet van right behind the signs. That's why the sign's covering it because it's just a fleet van. Come to right here. Another monster truck. But this is the Fast and Furious Skyline edition. This was pretty hard to come by. But I believe they're stocking these more on the shelves. And then right here is the OG Fast and Furious soundtrack of the very first movie, which is really dope. I actually listened to the whole soundtrack, and it was pretty sick to hear the whole soundtrack of, like, the actual movie. Moving over here, we got the Fast and Furious uh, house set, which is the Supra. Vin Diesel's car is over here. Toretto's house. Have another Supra right here. Then we have another Fast and Furious set of the S15. And the Supra, and then behind this is the EJ1, and then over here we have a, I think it's a Rand, Land Rover Hot Wheel. It's supposed to be part of the other collection that we're supposed to be putting up, but like I said, can't 
can't find room at the moment and it's kind of just stuck to him. Um, coming down here, we have the new Z from Auto World. I actually kind of like the Auto World drops of, you know, car model toys. It's actually like really heavy. Let me pick these up. And there's a lot of detail going on as well. So I've been looking out for these, see if they make um, other models. If they do, I'll probably gonna pocket, pick it up. But we have the Matchbox 4Runner right here, red one. I believe they make a blue one. I'm just in search for a black one so I can get like a toy version of my car. And then back here, we got the muscle machines with the dots in. I pretty much have almost all the muscle machines. Uh, but there's another one back here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's a Datsun. And then we have another Fast and Furious of the R33s. I think this one just recently came out. This is the R33 of the Tokyo Drift model and the R33 of the Fast and Furious 1 model. And then right here, I got this set mainly because of the Liberty Walk uh, R35. And then down here, we have the Coca Cola Edition Datsun with the semi truck. This thing's pretty sick. And then another true model of, or true 164 of the Supra. This one has a lot of details as well. It's pretty heavy. And we also got the other color of this version as well. I think it's a green one. And then we have another Toyota Tundra pickup right here. But that is pretty much it for this shelf of my little collection. We also have a signed uh, James Kemp uh, Speed Factory uh, like photo card right there. That one's pretty sick. I was really happy on hopping on that when that dropped. And then right here is just... A collection of Pokemon cards that I've been trying to, you know, get some gems, but we don't really have anything. I mean, there's like shiny and stuff in there, but it's not really, it's not really anything, but we're just collecting that. That is pretty much it for this corner. So walking into the room, this is basically kind of what you see during my streams, um, especially the podcast, whenever I'm doing gaming streams. And yeah, so we'll start over here. So we got a mini fridge. Um, I think it's just popping here at the moment and soju. Yeah, so we got two bottles of soju, some pop in there. And then right here, we have a little bit more knickknacks that I have. So this is like a Jason Mask fake flower plant, plant. And then we have another fake plant right here. And right here are playing cards. Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Back to the Future, and like the Dragon Ball Z drinks back here, and some like Boss Coffee. And then... Going right here, we're going to go to my DK Metcalf jersey. Um, I got that for Secret Santa, I believe, or during Christmas. Um, shout out to my man, DK Metcalf. You need to chill the hell out, though. But the sign language stuff is definitely helping with um, him, you know, talking smack and be able to have people in the um, sign language world, um, you know, be more involved with the NFL. And, you know, I think it's a good thing. You know, he's doing um, sign language and like talking smack and sign language sign language instead of just talking smack out of his mouth because he keeps getting fined so he found an alternative way of doing it and you know he's not getting fined anymore then right here we got another seattle seahawks flag if you guys don't know my family originally when they came to the united states they were in seattle before we moved down here to iowa so uh, my siblings were born in seattle i was the only one born in iowa and we we're here in iowa so Right here we have a Mugen, fake Mugen. I'm not gonna say it's legit, but this is a fake Mugen uh, valve cover. Um, basically using it as decor until it gets sold a um, hundred bucks. I basically cleaned it up. Was gonna plan on using it for my cop kit, but I would have to get a special made bracket for the middle part. Or I run, um, I think it's R8 coil packs. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. If I'm either gonna run R8 coil packs or run, you know, my regular valve cover the dope thing with, with this valve cover is like i don't need to do anything to it i just need to run different spark plugs and then this will fit uh, the main reason is because the coil bracket um it needs to be custom made for this and it's like 300 bucks i'm not gonna pay 300 bucks for a fucking bracket in my opinion there's that right here we have a painting that katana made for us super dope and then right here we have a canvas of my k-swap hatch um i do need to make a canvas of the ej1 coupe but right here another marshall lynch 
jersey that we have come on over here is like my hype beast corner i would say but this is what you mainly see on the screen but we have a vintage k vintage made the shirt honey uh shirt basically all pictures of honey they come down here we have a supreme uh like little picture thing um I have a pug and then we have another supreme thing right here and got the little palooza um thing right here and then the wristbands right there as well then we have a bunch of new jeans stuff as well um we'll let's start from the left to the right all right so right here um just a bunch of random stuff got a bunch of polaroid pictures from our last meet um a pit viper glasses this thing comes comes in clutch um i'm definitely going to get more polarized glasses uh next year for the summer but these are lilies some little japanese shooter thing or like sake cups these all three of these taste like feet water i'll be honest and then we have this one soju uh, with jenny on the uh soju bottle so these are pretty hard to come by i mean they're probably easier to come by anywhere else out of here from where i'm at but from down here yeah this is hella uncommon hella rare and i've just been collecting it and then coming over to the new jean side so we both me and gina both have bias i have a bias of honey she has a bias of danielle so we have both of the second ep albums are here of honey and danielle but i opened up the honey one just to display the photo cards but uh this is from their first album this is their second album and then right here is just like all the photo cards of honey and then right here i got minji we have danielle uh hey and then right here is a momo one which is uh I was surprised to get because um, Once Love Club is another company that I support on my decals. Um, they make a lot of decals and I have them on all my cars. And they make pretty dope like K-pop style decals. So if you guys are really into K-pop or want to support your, I don't know, your bias. Or if you have a bias, you know, go check them out. But yeah, this is like my little hype beast corner right here. And this is what you mainly see when I'm streaming. But coming over here, here's the main setup basically simple amazon l desk um, don't mind the stuff underneath here this is like a bunch of car parts since i don't have a garage most of the car parts stays in here so there's all the car parts then i have my cricket to make um the nine racing decals and then over here is the main setup so let's get into the main setup um amazon boom mic arm it was like 20 bucks super cheap been lasting me for quite some time and then right here is the mic setup Runs into the line into here, and then it goes into the mixer that's down here. I don't know if you see it, that lights up. But that's also another Amazon product for the boom mic, or for the mic itself. It runs off of that. And then we're running two different monitors. So this monitor is the Asus Tough 280 hertz monitor. And then we have a monitor mount, which is goes from this way and this way. If you guys see my previous videos of my 2023, I think it was 2023 or 2022 setups, um, I had this monitor vertical, but I've been personally liking it, having it horizontal, just because um, I can be able to move this around, and especially when we do the podcast, which is, this is the podcast side of the stream, on the mic right here, we'll be able to see what's going on on the screen right here, we'll be able to see chat, be able to watch stuff as well, and react live. So, also another thing that we moved was our extra lighting. So this used to be in that corner. But the reason I moved it to over here is because it kept giving me too much exposure, making this being all blurred out. Well, and when I moved it over here, it's a lot better. We also got the webcam right here and it's pointing straight down to me, but I have another webcam right here and it gives a better angle of myself and better lighting showing me on stream. So that's basically it for the table setup. Really simple, Amazon desk, Amazon boom mic, Amazon mic setup. Um, we have a glorious keyboard. I believe that's what it's called. I think it's like a Model O or something. And we're rocking the Logitech Superlight G Pro mouse with some, pretty much some grip tape type deal. Uh, for some reason, my thumb, when I was playing with this mic, would dig in into the paint right here. And right here, the paint is like chipping off on this mic or on this mice. So that's why I got the grip tape stuff on it but i actually kind of like the grip tape stuff it kind of like lets you your fingers not sliding around as much so grip tape does help then over here i was looking up how to spell knickknack because i don't know how to spell knickknack 
I thought it was with ends. I did not know there's K's in knickknack. So I want to check that out. But coming over here, this is Alex's chair or guest chair as well. But most of the time when we do the podcast, the guest sits over here. And then my co-host Alex would sit right here. If you want to see the point of view of Alex, it's like this. And he slides in and he's at an angle like this. And we're around the pod. And we were able to see the monitor and talk like this. But coming over here to the PC setup. And my basically random corner right here that I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this corner. But uh that's me, my air max is right here. We have a bunch of tools, like I said. Um don't have a garage, so most of the car stuff tools are ended up in here stored for now until we get the garage built. But they're all right here. And then I have a I have a lamp in here. Um, what is this? Acid reflex reducer. Got that in here for some reason. Um, random mics, got a bucket, got shop towels, zip ties. And then right here is like my snack basket. Which we have what in here? Cheese it Skittles. And then right here is the main setup. So this is the thing that's powering everything, especially the stream. Uh, I plan on doing a dual PC setup eventually one of these days, but this has been holding up well. And I've been building this for quite some time, probably like, I know for sure it's before COVID, so totally been working on this PC for about five years. But we have a 3060 Ti, Ryzen, um, is it Ryzen 9, Ryzen 7? It's a 5900, that's for sure. And then we have a dual fan CPU uh, fan. This is one and two right here, dual fans. And then we upgraded the lights as well to the LED ones. And then we have 32 gigs of RAM, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty pretty simple setup. Got the CPU on sale. Um, I got scalped for the fucking GPU, but it is what it is. During the time, there was no 3,000 series cards, and now there's already 4,000 series cards, and um, probably gonna be 5,000 series cards in the next year or so. But I'm waiting to upgrade that. The 3060 is perfectly fine for me. Um, more than likely, I'll probably upgrade the RAM sticks. The RAM sticks are only. Um, 3000 megahertz and i can definitely upgrade them to 32 or yeah 32 or 35 or something like that i'm not exactly too sure if that would make a huge difference on um on the ram side of the pc but if it does then i probably will but at the moment it's you know doing this job and i'm not having issues with it but yeah that's pretty much it for the pc setup really simple um probably want to get a bigger case eventually but and then right here is a bunch of Hot Wheels that we have yet find a spot to put them up. Um, but I don't know if you can see them, but there's a Subaru, um, some GDM cars in here. There's some Supras in here as well. Um, there's another Z right there, uh, NSX. Um, yeah, there's a lot of cool knickknack stuff uh, in this room. And then right here is like my little camera setup, the GoPro and the, um, I forgot what this fucking thing is called again. But uh the dji pocket that'll be to it for today's video so if you guys enjoyed my tour of my game room podcast room stream room hobby room just a whole lot of random stuff in here you know please leave a like leave a comment below uh, definitely try to kind of renovate this area as well i think eventually we're probably going to be doing some sort of i kind of want to flip this whole setup this way but i already have this whole setup right here this wall already set up for the stream this way um but i don't know we're probably gonna get the stacked monitor set up so instead of doing it this way i'm gonna be having a monitor right here and then another monitor up top i think that's gonna be really nice and then i would love to have another monitor mount right here so it'll be three monitors but it'll be two stacked one to the side and then i'll be able to you know do my thing right there watch whatever i need up there and then the side will be you know exclusively for the podcast or anything that i need to put on this side of the uh, monitor but the setup is looking a lot better than it was a few years ago when i first did it but yeah definitely need to hang some stuff up over here i kind of want to hang those up up there next to the you know the t-shirt stuff but i don't know i think it's doing it looks okay on the shelf and it looks pretty good on stream as well so maybe we'll start doing some other stuff in here making it look bigger and be able to hang more stuff on these, these empty walls get those filled up but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video like comes blah 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 blah, blah. hopefully hopefully you enjoyed today's video like comment subscribe and i'm out peace